वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रशांत पाटिल ट्रेन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बड़ेगावे प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशंस लाइक द वीडियो कमेंट एंड शेयर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन ऑर्थोनल सिस्टम ऑफ एनालिटिक फंक्शंस इफ द फंक्शन ओमेगा इक्वल टू कॉम्प्लेक्स फंक्शन ओमेगा इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ जेड इज एनालिटिक फंक्शन देन व्हाट इज द ऑर्थोनल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दैट नाउ बिफोर दैट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन द in cartesian form orthogonal trajectories means what first okay the family of curves u of xy equal to c1 and v of xy equal to c2 are said to be orthogonal trajectories of each other if each member of the family of curves intersect orthogonal to the each member of the other family then that u and v are said to be what orthogonal trajectories of each other say for example okay family of curves means for example let me take a family of circles with the center at origin that is x square plus y square equal to r square this is a family of circles with the center at origin and having the radius equal to r that depending on that r the circle if r is equal to 1 radius equal to 1 if radius equal to 2 then this is the center will remain the same r equal to 3 like that this set of curves are said to be family of curves for the circle similarly let me consider one more equation equation of a straight line passing through the origin that is y is equal to mx for different values of m i am not considering here c constant c If I consider constant c, that will be a, uh, cons- uh, that uh, y intercept will be a. Therefore, I will not consider this one. For different values of m, if y equal to plus m is there, then this is the straight line, y equal to x, or this extension of this. Like that, if y equal to minus one is there, this is the y equal to minus x, y equal to x. If y equal to half of x is there. then this is the y is equal to x by 2 like that y equal to 3x by 2 like that for different uh, what i can say uh, slopes different curves will get now each member of the circles each member of circles is perpendicular to each member of the straight lines as this is acting as a radius then angle between the radius and the tangent at point of intersection are perpendicular for this one for this one for this one all the three like that for each member is for, therefore this family of circles with the origin as a center and y equal to mx which is passing through the origin are orthogonal trajectories of each other okay like that now using this concept i want to find out here for the analytic functions in complex form okay we know that dy by dx represents the slope of the tangent to the curve okay this concept we know dy by dx represents the slope of the tangent to the curve and the condition for perpendicularity of two curves is that product of their slopes must be equal to minus 1 say for example m1 into m2 must be equal to minus 1 if m1 is the slope of a tangent of the first curve And if m2 is a slope tangent of the second curve, then product must be equal to minus one. Using these concepts, what I want to prove here is that is if omega equal to f of z equal to u of x y plus i into v x y is the analytic, then family of curves real part real part that is u of x y equal to c1 and imaginary part v of x y equal to c2 intersect each other orthogonally. means these two curves are orthogonal trajectories of each other we have to show where c1 and c2 are constants okay to prove that one we are using the cr equations okay proof first okay as omega equal to f of z is equal to u plus iv and i am considering in a cartesian form u plus iv is analytic analytic therefore cr equations are given by 
so your equations are given by do u by do x must be equal to do v by do y and do v by do y must be equal to minus do u by do x these are the cr equations i am going to use them and let us consider the real part okay let u of xy equal to c1 be a family of curves family of curves and let y is a function of function of x then then by partial derivative of then by partial derivative partial derivative of derivative of u of xy equal to c1 with respect to x correct with respect to x is nothing but do u by do x into dx by dx plus composite rule i am using do u by do y into dy by dx equal to partial derivative of constant is a zero here i am using a ordinary derivative because of what x is a function of x only and y is also a function of x and dx dx cancels is a one okay therefore dy by dx equal to this is nothing but cancels minus do u by do x divided by do u by do y okay let me call this as a m1 slope of the first curve okay similarly let me let me consider v x y equal to c2 and i have to prove this for second one consider consider v of x y equal to c2 is the another family of curves family of curves and let y be a function of y be a function of x therefore do v by do x into d x y dx plus do v by do y into dy by dx also equal to again zero because the c is a c2 is a constant partial derivative will become zero okay which implies dy by dx equal to i can write again minus do v by do x divided by do v by do y let me say it is a m2 slope of the second curve then the product of m1 and m2 is equal to minus 1 then we can say they intersect orthogonally okay therefore consider consider m1 into m2 okay my m1 is nothing but minus do u by do x divided by do u by do y minus do u by do x divided by do u by do y into minus do v by do x divided by do v by do y and using cr equations i can replace these two by okay which is nothing but minus do u by do x divided by do u by do y into minus do v by do x is nothing but do u by do y and do v by do x is what do u by do x these two cross cancels this one this one cancels which is equal to minus 1 m1 into m2 equal to minus 1 therefore u of xy equal to c1 and v of xy equal to c2 are intersect intersecting orthogonally okay like this i am going to prove the in polar form in my next video if you not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my 
next videos like this video comment and also share this video thank you friends